Welcome to the Basketball Challenge Bracket Game. Kaylee and I are going to go over our picks for the bracket, the NCAA tournament. Uh, obviously, we're probably going to be nowhere near accurate, but we're going to go through. We're going to show you what we picked. Maybe you can take some insight. Maybe you can ignore everything we said. Kaylee, take us through the South region, the number one overall seed, Alabama. You know, I'm going to have to go with the number seed on this one. I'm liking Alabama this year, so I'm going to go with Alabama. Next up, Maryland and West Virginia. Kind of feel Maryland on that one. San Diego and Charleston. I'm gonna go with an. I'm gonna keep with San Diego. Virginia and Furman. Go with the four seed Virginia. Creighton and NC State. I'm gonna go with Creighton. Can't root for State. <laughs> Baylor and UC Santa Barbara. I'm gonna go with Baylor too. Big 12 school. Uh, Missouri Utah State. Let's go with Utah State. Mix it up a little bit. And then Arizona and Princeton. I like Arizona in this one. I'm pretty much the same all the way along with you, um, except I went with West Virginia uh, instead of Maryland. But other than that, I think we're the same all the way down. Uh, looking at the East bracket, I'm going to go with number one seed Purdue. Um, I think that they're just clear, you know, we had one 16 seed win years ago. That's not going to happen again. Memphis and Florida Atlantic, it's a really good matchup. Uh, I think both teams are Sweet 16 level teams. I'm going to go with Florida Atlantic here. Duke and Oral Roberts, I think that's a Sweet 16 matchup. I would love to see both of those teams advance, but I can only pick Duke here. I'm going to go with Duke. Uh, Tennessee, Louisiana, don't really like either team in the tournament, <laughs> but I'm going to go with Tennessee for this matchup. Um, Kentucky's going to win over Providence. I don't like Providence this year, although they've had some good teams in the past. Kansas State is going to be advancing, and you know, Tom Izzo, it's kind of easy to side with him in the tournament, but I don't like this Michigan State team. I'm going to go with USC, and I think Marquette. So not very many upsets in uh, the bracket for me. Yeah, I'm pretty similar there. Couldn't cho choose USC, and <laughs> I chose Memphis to mix it up from you too. So. And then over in the Midwest, I'm going to go with the number one seed, Houston. I like Houston this season. I beat my Pirates a couple times, so we're going to go with them. Iowa and Auburn, that's a tough one for me. I think I'm going to stick with Iowa. Miami, Florida, and Drake. Go with an upset there. Pick Drake. Indiana and Kent State. I know you have some opinions on <laughs> this one. I like Indiana. You've been saying Kent State, but I'll go with Kent State. I'll go with the upset there. Iowa State and Mississippi State. Go with Iowa State on that one. Go with Xavier on that one. We'll go with Penn State and hate to say it, but I'll go with Texas. Uh, I'm pretty similar along in this bracket. Uh, I, I did go with Drake for the upset over Miami as well. If I wasn't an Indiana fan, I might go with the Kent State upset over Indiana, but I got to side with the Hoosiers. Um, I was the same. I don't think Auburn's a good basketball team. Uh, Penn State's going to win. Texas is going to win. And yeah, that sums up uh, the Midwest for me. Moving to the West, uh, got number one Kansas versus Howard. Kansas is going to win that one easily. Arkansas and Illinois, um, that one could go either way, but I'm going to go with just the more talented team in Arkansas. Um, St. Mary's and VCU, I think, again, kind of similar to the Duke Oral Roberts matchup. I think both these teams could go to the Sweet 16, but since they're faced off in the first round, only one can go. Uh, I'm going to go with VCU. Um, I, I like the team. They made some runs in the past. They're going to, very strong defense. They're going to go uh, at least through the first round here. Sister U Jean's not going to like you on that Sister one. Sister Jean not going to be very happy <laughs> with me, but uh, UConn and Iona, uh, Rick Pitino there versus UConn, who hasn't won a game since 2016. Uh, I'm going to go with UConn. I think they're going to win a game in the tournament since 2016. I should correct that, <laughs> but UConn's going to advance there to the next round. Uh, TCU and Arizona State, I don't really like either team. Um, mm -hmm. I think uh, both of those teams will lose no matter their matchup in the next round, but uh, I am going to side with, uh, honestly, <laughs> I don't want to pick either one. Uh, we'll go with TCU on this one. Gonzaga, they're going to beat Grand Canyon. Northwestern's going to beat Boise State, and UCLA is going to beat UNC Asheville. So, uh, neither one of us really picked a whole lot of upsets so no. far. Who you got differently than me here? Um, I went with UCLA. I picked Boise State on that one. I went with Arizona State. I kind of think that one's a toss-up, too. Went with UConn. I went with St. Mary's for Sister Jean. Um, and then Arkansas and Kansas. So pretty, pretty similar to you. A couple differing ones. We'll move to the round of uh, 32. Moving on to the south. Who you got in the south region? 
We'll keep with Alabama, gonna ride it out pretty far into, through the tournament. Um, I'll do Virginia again. I kind of like Creighton over Baylor there. And then I'm gonna keep with Arizona over Utah State. Um, I'm Alabama, San Diego State. Uh, again, don't really love Baylor or Creighton here, but gonna go with uh, Creighton and gonna go with Utah State over Arizona. So that's gonna be mm. a big upset for me. Yeah. So another bracket, I had Arizona to the final four, so that's a big difference for <laughs> me. But Utah State's gonna pull off the upset in this bracket. Moving on to the East region, uh, Florida, Atlantic, and Purdue. I think that's a really tough matchup. Yeah. Um, I think Florida Atlantic could pull off the upset. I don't think they'll upset in this round. Um, check out the next round when Duke advances. I got them easily over Tennessee. Yep. Um, Kentucky and Kansas State. Um, Kentucky obviously has a talented team. Mm -hmm. um, Kansas State's an overachieving team this year. I think Kansas State's going to pull through in that one. Um, and then in the bottom, I'm going to go with two-seed Marquette over USC. Yeah, I'm pretty similar. I got Purdue and Duke, and then I have Kentucky and Marquette. So let's move on up to the Midwest region. Um, who you got over here? I have Houston. I think Houston's going to ride it out pretty far this this tournament, and then we'll go with we'll go with Drake on that one. We'll let Iowa State ride it out, and we'll keep with Texas. Uh, I'm going to go with Houston as well. Um, I'm going to go with Drake in this bracket. Don't, uh, don't like picking against Indiana, but I think Drake goes on a run to the Sweet 16. They're definitely on Cinderella watch this year for me. Mm -hmm. um, Iowa State and Xavier, we're going to go with Xavier. And Penn State and Texas, that's a tough one. Texas you know, had to go lose their coach at the beginning of the season. They had to kind of grow up fast this mm -hmm. year. Um, they're a very talented team. I'm going to go with Texas. They're going to advance over Penn State, even though I think that's a really tough matchup for them. A lot of Big 12 teams. Moving down to the West, uh, we got Kansas and Arkansas. I think the defending champs are going to advance over Arkansas. Arkansas is talented, mm -hmm. but I just don't think they're an incredible team this year. Um, I think VCU, I think they're going to take down Connecticut. Connecticut, they're going to get their first win. They're not going to get their second. Um, and then in the bottom, I'm going to go with Gonzaga over TCU. And uh, Northwestern, or we're going to go with UCLA. So. That's uh, where I got. I did Kansas and St. Mary's and then Gonzaga and UCLA. Okay, so similar, you got St. Mary's, I got VCU, everything yeah. else is the same. Yeah. In the South region, back up with Alabama, who you got there? I like Bama still. So we're gonna keep rolling with the tide and then I think I'll have to stick with Arizona. Alabama and Arizona. I think those are probably a lot safer than my picks. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with San Diego State over Alabama, okay. and I'm going to go with Utah State over Creighton. So that's going to be my kind of my <laughs> upset bracket region, yeah. no uh, one or two seed there. Okay. Um, down in the east, Duke and Purdue. I'm going with Duke <sighs> yeah, um, over Purdue, agree. and I'm going to go with Marquette over Kansas State. Who you got in that? I got the same for those two. Duke and Marquette, so yeah. we got the same Elite Eight there. What yep. about up in the Midwest region? Who you got up there? I'm going to keep with Houston. I like the Cougars, and you know, I hate to say it, but I'm going to keep going with Texas on this one too. I'm with you with Texas. I think Texas advances. I'm going to go with Drake. Drake's going to upset number one Houston okay. in that bracket. They're going to move on to the Elite Eight. Um, down in the West, uh, love VCU. I think their run comes to an end at number mm -hmm. one Kansas. Yeah. And Gonzaga, UCLA, that's a very tough, you know, kind of preseason top five matchup. Yeah. Both teams very good. Um, I'm going to go with Drew Timmy here, uh, you know, the guy that seems like he's been playing college basketball for 30 years. I'm going to go with Drew Timmy and Gonzaga. I think they're going to take down UCLA in this bracket. Who you got there? I have Kansas and UCLA, so a little bit of a mix okay. up. Sticking with the Blue Bloods. Yeah. <laughs> Back up to uh, the Elite Eight. Again, mine is very different than yours. I'm yeah. going to go with... We're going to go with San Diego State. San Diego State's going to advance to the Final Four uh, over Utah State. Who you got there? I got Bama still. 
and Bama. I think Bama's probably the safe pick, and I think you're probably going to be right over me, but here we go. This is my upset. You never know. You never know. Uh, Duke and Marquette, I'm going Duke here. Yeah. Um, they're red hot, playing their best basketball. They're a five seed, but they're certainly a, a one or two seed uh, talent-wise in the way they're playing. Yeah. Got? Same pick. Duke to the final four. Yep. Um, Drake in Texas, you know, we've been rolling with Drake so far for me. You don't got Drake in there, obviously. No. Nope. I'm going to roll with Texas. I got Texas going to the final four. I don't know if they'll be able to do it, but I'm going to go with Houston over Texas on that one. Be a good matchup. Yeah. The final four is in Houston, so Houston would be the home uh, team certainly there. Um, I got Kansas and Gonzaga. Um, Love the defending champs, but yeah. going to go with Gonzaga here. I got Gonzaga advancing to the Final Four over Kansas. Well, we'll keep it the blue but blood. I'll go with Kansas on that one. So my Final Four is very different than Kaylee's Final yeah. Four. We've got a couple similarities there. Um, I got Duke and San Diego State. I got a five-seed San Diego State and five-seed Duke coming out of uh, the south and the east. Uh, I'm going to go with Duke in that matchup. On the other side, I got Texas and I got Gonzaga. That's my Final Four um, and I'm going to choose Gonzaga in that matchup. Who's your final four? I still have a lot of one seeds in here. So I have Alabama and Duke. I think Duke is going to roll on that one, kind of silence Alabama. And then I have Houston and Kansas, both one seeds. I like how far I've put Houston, but I think Kansas will be able to outdo Houston. At that level. You're going by statistics, follow Kaylee and not me because <laughs> one seeds traditionally make it to the final four. There's a lot of upsets before now, but one seeds in the final four, she's in a lot better track than I am. Uh, in my championship game, I got Duke versus Gonzaga. Um, mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the Blue Devils. Uh, they are playing red hot right out of the a ACC tournament champions. I'm going to go Duke uh, 61. And Gonzaga, a high-scoring Gonzaga team, they're going to hold them to 57. So that is going to be my final score. Duke 61, Gonzaga 57. Low scoring. Duke's a good defensive team. Oh, that makes me question. I have Duke in Kansas, and I think, you know, Duke didn't have as good as a, of a run last season at, towards the end. Um, but, you know, we'll pick Kansas in another North Carolina school. But we'll go with Duke on top. I'll go Duke 68, and then I have Kansas, and I'll do Kansas 62. My pick's in, Kaylee's picks are in. Yep. If you think we're wrong, you get to tell us that you're wrong because you get to make the picks as well. Uh, you just got to go to mypenhandle.com, sign up, make a bracket for yourself. You get to take the picks. Show us who you think is going to win. One person wins. You can compete against not only us, but everybody else in the panhandle. It's winner takes all. There's a couple prizes that can be won. A uh, gas card, a $50 gas card. Know how expensive gas is yep. these days. You get a complimentary <laughs> oil change at Mariana Toyota and a gift certificate to Almega Sports. So not just for bragging rights that you can beat the so-called sports experts over here, <laughs> but also you get some prizes, so it's a lot of fun. Uh, go ahead and make those picks before Thursday morning at 11 a.m. That's when the full round of 64 matchups begin. That is 11 a.m. Central Time, and uh, may the best picker win.